Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we've got a familiar one. It's another Glock. We've got Home Pistol Automatic G41, but this is a Glock in 45 ACP, and it's kind of got a longish slide on it. This is a regular G17 in 9mm, and as you can see, the G41 is a little bit longer. G41 is the one on the top, and a little bit thicker. Definitely feels thicker in VR. Not a lot thicker, but a little bit thicker. Sights are a little bit different too. A little bit, little bit different here and there, all, all the way around. But it's a Glock in 45. So, a uh, 13 round magazine, by the way. Comes with the 13 round magazine. Okay, let's check it out. Take a look at some magazines first. This is the magazine it spawns with. It is a new G41 magazine sits nice and flush there but you're saying 45 caliber glock wait a minute the vector takes 45 caliber glock magazines do the vector magazines work in the g41 and i'm here to say they do but it is actually really hard to put them in so look here's me holding my hands side by side and that's how that magazine holds, so it's real easy for me to insert it like that. See where this controller ends up? Now, with the vector mags, the holding position is completely different. Here's me holding my controller side by side. So you can see I have to shove this controller into the other one. So here's me bumping my controllers together to try to get this magazine in. So, giant pain in the ass, but it will go. Uh, so I mm, wish this would get some love and attention and get that to be easier to put in. But yes, you can put the 45 mags in there, including the new Vector Drum Mag. Again, a little tricky to get it in there, but you can get a giant 45 caliber Vector Drum Mag for your Glock, or I guess it's a Glock Mag for your Vector. Oh, what does it say on it? I can't turn my hand around that hard to look at it. Anyway, it will work. Oh, clunky, clunky. Kind of looks funny when it does that. <laughs> Let's take a look at the controls. Got a typical semi-auto pistol controls, of course. Down in the trackpad, we'll eject the magazine. There you go. Uh, pull it back, and you're good to go. You've got a slide lock. If you go to the left and up on the trackpad, like so, it'll lock the slide back, left and down. We'll release it. Uh, there's no hammer, so you've got no hammer cock and decock. Uh, and you've got no safety on it, because it's a clock. Anyway, uh, I think that covers your controls. Yep. See what attachments will fit. Okay, do we have rails yet? No slide rails. How about a bottom rail? Aha, we've got a bottom rail. Yay! You can put a laser or whatever you like on there. Grenade launcher. Uh, let's see what goes in the barrel. Muzzle brake will go. Goody goody. Suppressor will go. Barrel extension will go. Barrel adapter will go. Battle spatula will go. Won't block the sights. Ah, you can put a foregrip on there because you got a rail attachment on there. So now you got this action going. Oh, that doesn't really seem to help. That's just hard to aim. Anyway, moving on. How about a stock? Aha, yes, you can put a stock on this. Ah, handy, handy. All right. Check out our sights. We've got pretty solid sights. We got a front post with a very faint white dot on it. It's kind of gray, actually. You got a nice U shape highlight white on the back. Makes it very easy to pick up. And they are very chunky sights. I don't know if this will come out in VR, but they are pretty tall sights. Yeah. There we go. Got to get on top of it a bit. Ooh. Not too bad. On to the recoil test. We've got 13 rounds of 45 ACP. Let's see how we do. Oh, wow. 6.77. So there's a lot of recoil out of this guy. We got a three on there. Ooh, oof. Let's try the muzzle brake. Uh, 
Ooh, 7.54, pretty good. Hmm, kind of hoping for a little more, but it is a 45. Let's try it with a suppressor. Hmm, that seemed better. Yeah, there we go. We got our 10. 7 average, so definitely an improvement with the suppressor, but not a very big one. And on to the stock. You done? You sure? <laughs> 9.31, big improvement with the stock. Look at all those 10s. Yeah. Let's try the muzzle brake and the stock. Ooh, that looked good. 9.38. Yeah, the stock really helps. And finally, stock and suppressor. Hmm, pretty good. A lot of 10s there. 9.54 average. Yeah, that stock definitely helps a lot. There you have it, the Glock G41, a long 45. Till next time, I will see ya. Oh, it does jump. It does jump. Gotta give it some time.